Well, good morning, our beloveds. Our another is really struggling because life does not feel upbeat and positive. There is virtually no flow and she is so very tired because it's just that way right now. It makes her question and wonder once again if she is not doing it right as she still sees or believes in some part of her that she is being punished for not being high vibrational enough that the universe punishes her because she's not perfect. And yet she is so close to perfect and she doesn't even see it because her desire is to be love and light. And her desire is to teach others what surviving domestic abuse looks like and what healing from domestic abuse looks like. And the court has granted her, literally granted her the right because in her divorce proceeding, her ex attempted to force the court to restrict her ability to ever say anything derogatory. And the court failed our another in so many ways that caused terror and fear in her heart, if we are honest. And she recognizes that there are so many other women who must have been treated the same by the court and by the same judge, but probably by the court because it is an energetic vibration. It cannot be replaced without changing the energy within the court system here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And this is what we ask you all to do today, to chant a chant, to sing a song, to speak words of love and adoration to the court system here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, so that the blessings that flow from your heart would infuse the court system so that no legal action is even required. That the love and that the tenderness and the positive emotion would just change the flavor and the nature of the court and how it rules. It is possible because when you believe in magic, magic occurs. Our another, while she is concerned about herself and how her divorce played out, she is always, and we cannot stress the always enough, she is always more concerned about how these types of decisions and applications affect and impact others because she knows that she is the microcosm of the macrocosm. And she knows without a doubt that she has more resiliency than others because she lived through, survived 31 years of abuse and she is not as damaged as some other people would be because of her Teflon resiliency, meaning that things slide off of her more than they do others because of the divine or God essence within her. But nonetheless, she is human. She is in human form and things do impact her, stick to her or teach her what this feels like. So today the
It is an intentional pause. It is an intentional pause. We need you, the listener, the reader, the participant, to now begin to actively participate in the series. This is the Wake the Fuck Up series, right? And so we're going to jar you a little bit more because we have asked you in the past to set specific intentions, to get involved in creating a new and better future. And today we're going to ask you in a specific way to show you and our another how intentions matter. We want you to see how when you pray, focus on, or set intentions on one particular matter, how it can and will affect the outcome within particular circumstances. Within the ethernet, the internet, the connectivity, you guys don't even understand how energy works. When the internet was formed or created, of course by Al Gore, it was here to create a literal connection to help you all to at least experience in some fashion that you are all one. When you lived in your little hovels across the world and there was no interconnectivity, your experience was literally just within your own community. You never branched out beyond that because it just wasn't physically or regionally possible. But the internet, while it does have its harms and its challenges, it creates an interconnectivity with ones and zeros that teaches you in so many ways that you are all one. You connect with people across the globe who are much like you where you have beliefs and experiences in common and also with those whom you have nothing in common and yet you are all on this one and zero dot plane having conversations. Does that not magically amaze you that through these cables, these wires, these transit that run through the bottom of the ocean that you can connect to and talk to and communicate with others, it should. Because when you look at where you came from, the caveman, this is a feat of or for your imagination. And we just simply ask you, do you really truly think that you little ants, you little pea pods of ants or beetles or bugs, whatever you want to call them, little squishy things, that you came up with this without any intervention, any divine intervention? You all believe so much in your own mind and the magic of it. And yet you have forgotten how the spirit world has walked with you all of these years. You all, believe it or not, your ancestors used to believe in the spirit world. But when you got all haughty toddy living in your cities, showing how smart you are at capitalism and screwing over other people, you began to believe in yourselves more than in the spirit world. And you've lost that connection. And you say, yes, but I go to church every Sunday or every Wednesday or whenever it is, and I pray. But you have actually lost the connection to the divine. A few of you still have it. We, we don't deny that. But for the majority of you, it's simply words, empty words. You don't feel it. You don't believe it in your soul. So we ask you today to simply set the intention to ask the query that the Santa Fe divorce court, family court, legal or law system would have a shift in its approach to family matters. 
so that the abusers are no longer protected and that the victims will receive greater protections and receive what is rightfully theirs. That you would also ask or set the intention that all those parties, those institutions that are affected to, with or by the court system would also have this shift in heart. It's like a magnifying glass where you fine tune the light to focus on just one pinpoint spot to create a fire, to bring about or manifest a physical change by the simple shift of hand, if you will, by all focusing your own energetic imprint on one small spot on planet Earth, you can change the outcome, the hearts of those involved whom you are praying for. Believe in your magic, in your ability to perform magic, to see things as they really are, and to believe in what you are doing that it matters. Your belief system is not only that I give it to God and allow God to do it, but to believe that your prayers actually turn into gold or Aquarius. It is now the energy of love that you all reside within, but you still struggle with what this means, how you can literally manifest something out of thin air. Our another watched a documentary, if you will, on mediumship, and she didn't know that there was physical mediumship, just the, the mental, the unseen, the words, the trance type of explanation of transferring information. But her mind was blown at or by the physical mediumship and its properties and how that works. You too can believe greater things if you just know that your limited belief system is not all that there is, but that there is so much more from this unseen world that you can call in and you will call in. Make believe is not just in your imagination. It never has been. When you played as children with your make-believe friends, it's not so much that they were make-believe, they were just simply unseen energies that you really did connect with. But then you were told it wasn't real, it was imaginary, and you were taught to grow up and to believe only in the real world, that which you can see. And today we ask you to go back to those early years where you just played with no agenda, no outcome, no focus other than to be in the flow and to make use of that which you had around you and to create a rich and imaginary experience through make-believe. Make-believe that when you say something to the universe out there, that they hear you, that they believe you, and that they manifest it into the magical 3D world within which you reside. It is out there, it is out there, it is out there for your taking if you just try it. It's not magic. It's just focused energy like that magnifying glass that we spoke of. If you stop scattering your seeds, but instead harness them into one specific spot, you will see so much more growth because it's more manifested that way, if that makes sense. Instead of 
grains of sand spread around the entire world. We don't notice the shift because it blends in. If you all pour grains of sand, all of you into one spot, and create a new mountain, you will see how your desires and your intentions can change and shift the future for an entire people because you chose to pray. You chose to see those who were being harmed by a court system where they have lost the way because they think in their mind and they have stopped feeling with their heart to find where truth lies and instead believe those who are the most manipulative, who are the most callous, who are the most insensitive because they appear at first glance to be the most predictable and protected. You believe what you believe because if it looks shiny and productive, then it must be good. But what about the narcissists, the psychopaths, the sociopaths, the sadists, the Jeffrey Dahmers of the world? Those are the serial killers who have learned how to do it so well. And they are amongst you, everywhere around you. And you don't see them because you don't want to see them, because you believe in the prosperity fallacy that those who are prosperous must be good or smart or right. But maybe, just maybe, they are the most evil because they have no soul, because they can lie, because they don't feel bad when they lie. They show no signs, really, outwardly that they lie because they have no soul. As you can see, our Wake the Fuck Up series is a very different flavor than the others because it is time. It is time that you begin to shift the power back to the victims and away from the abusers because you can. You just need to set your intention so literally the scales of justice, the court system, will be protected once again by the interests of those who care and who matter. Your belief systems matter. Your prayers matter. Your intentions matter. Your focus matters. And so it is. Namaste.